this is a video of our Sensor Cut 2 with a standard E8 template. Now for this particular video, we actually have the shield removed. Normally there's a large plexiglass shield that goes all around the top here, uh, keep you from getting anything in your eyes or anything like that. There's also a vacuum inside the cabinet that would uh, suck up most of the dust and debris. In this case, for noise sake and for the clarity of the video, we simply don't have that on. Loading the template is very simple. You take whatever you want and you can stack up multiple pieces. In this case, I'm just going to do one. Put whatever you want in there. Tighten the cap screws down by hand. Tighten them a bit further with the wrench. And then we have a foot pedal to stand on to turn the motor on and off. And that's it coming on and off. But the important thing to note, that's what you hear in the background of the hissing, but the important thing to note is that every time you make a pass, you have to make a pass in one direction and flip it around and make a pass on the other side. Otherwise, you're going to get a lopsided sample. As long as you do that, you'll get a perfectly symmetrical sample. And every time you make a pass, you then turn your knob to move your the head of your machine in farther, and you just keep going until you get down to your uh, desired side. <laughs> So we need 500. Right now we're sitting at 540. So again, for your desired size, we're going to come another 20 thousandths further along, and we have a gauge right back there to measure your to measure your thousandths so you know how far you've gone. But 20 thousandths on each side should bring us right down to our magic number. <laughs> Came a little bit far away because I wanted to make a finish pass on this one. We're now sitting at 510. So again, and this the system's nice because you can adjust it by the thousand. In this case, you want to go about another five thousandths or so. So there's five. One pass on each side for ten thousandths off. And there you're sitting right on 500. Now, once you're done, moving your piece is as simple as it was to put in the first place, unlock the cap screws, open up a little bit, and pull it out, and you have your sample. Now, we're actually going to do another sample, simple separate material. In this case, our uh, bit is going to stay the same, but I am going to turn up the mist a little bit for you. This is running properly. Now I'm going to have to back myself back out. And in this case, I'm going to show how fast we can do this. By taking a lot heavier cuts. Depending on the material, you can take very heavy cuts with the temperature cut. Something like an E8, you have to go from 750 thousandths down to a gauge section of 500, and so 
you only have to take off 125 on each side. If you're taking off 50,000 on each side, like I was just doing, it goes pretty quickly. In theory, you could do it in as little as three passes per side. In this case, I'm again, I'm going to do some finished passes so we get a good uh, finish from it because it's a very fibery material. <laughs> Again, you can generally figure out where you need to go simply based on based on turning your head into the same point on every single pass. And we're a little bit high because it didn't come quite to where we need to be, but we're at 505 right now. I wanted to show you you can pull these things in and out very easily. As long as you put it back in in the same direction it came out in, it goes right back in to the exact same spot. Lock it down. Turn the mist back on. And that'll do it for your sample. Now again, you can generally stack these, depending on your material, you can stack these often fairly high. Uh, we sell uh, templates based on the amount of material you can stack into them. This particular one is a three quarter inch template. You can actually just keep stacking. This, these screws come up and the bar comes up and you can stack up to three quarters of an inch worth of material in this one. Uh, with harder materials, you can generally not stack that high. It, uh, it tends to push the blade out and you get an uneven finish. But At any rate, there's our finish on that, and good finish, so good sample. And that'll do it. That's the TK2.